What's up, this is your girl, Chanel Loren, and today I am reviewing Beyonce's latest album, fifth album, it's called Beyonce. And um, we're a little late in the game in posting this because the album has been out um, about a week now. But, as you know, there was no promo uh, promotion, there was no warning, there was no smoke signals, um, homegirl just dropped it on Instagram and was like, boom, world went crazy. Let me just give you a little background uh, for people who really know me. I don't consider myself a stan, but I am an uber fan. It's, it's not dangerous love. It's just uh, sheer and complete admiration for King B. Um, so that Thursday when it dropped, I was up, but for whatever reason I wasn't online. And I woke up for work the next morning at about seven, and I had like six text messages, five emails. Um, my homegirl across the pond in London, um, <laughs> like, you know, was like, what the hell? Are you awake? I couldn't wait for you to wake up so we could talk about it. Um, I, I downloaded it like while I was taking a shower. Um, that way, when I got to work, my ride to work, I could listen to it. Um, but the album is great. 14 songs, 17 videos. Um, Beyonce wanted to give this directly from her to us, her fans. And I think she did one hell of a job. And it's amazing how she kept it a secret. Um, everybody at iTunes was calling the album Lily, not knowing that it was uh, a Beyonce album because it was like top notch secret. Um, so, you know, I've gone to every Beyonce tour. Um, almost since the Destiny's Child days. But for this tour, I didn't go because I was like, okay, all the footage that I saw, I went to see her at Revel, and she was performing the same album. And I was just like, well, although I love her, and I've seen her like six times, I don't really need to see her perform the same songs. But now, America, YouTube, it's a huge regret because she has a new album, and I didn't know. And I should have known Baby Girl had something up her sleeves, okay? But anyway, let's get into the new album. Um, when you listen to the 14 songs, it's like, damn, Beast talking shit. You know what I mean? Um, she's married, married woman. You can tell she's very comfortable in her sexuality. She's a new mother now. And um, she's, she's talking shit. Like, this is what I'm gonna do to you, Jigga. You know what I mean? It's real, let me uh, turn that cherry out. Some real provocative lyrics, but I feel like Beyonce reinvents herself every album. Um, so it was about time that she talked a little raunchy. I wasn't offended, quite frankly. I, I enjoyed all of it. And I never really looked at Beyonce as like a sex symbol until this album and watching the videos and stuff like that. Um, but when you listen to the songs and then you watch the videos, it gives you a greater appreciation for it. Um, she's very creative, I, I, I don't know. But every day, I love a different song. Um, production on it, you got a, uh, Justin Timberlake did some work on it for Rel, Timberland. Um, it's just an incredible work of art. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the Life is But a Dream DVD, she was talking about how artists don't put out a complete body of work. You know, we're so in the microwave uh, generation where people just wanna download uh, one single off of iTunes or something like that. But you can literally hit play, let it go through all 14 songs. Then on top of that, watch the 17 videos and get blown away. And a lot of times, guys give, um, God gives, guys give women flack. Oh, they praise Beyonce, they love Beyonce, but then they love the D. You know, if your girl loves, first of all, if your girl loves Beyonce more than she loves you, then you're not doing something right, okay? And for all these people doing these Instagram memes, you know, uh, Beyonce gave me life, bitch, I died, ooh, you know, like, Stands love Jesus more than, you know, Beyonce love more than Jesus. It's taking it too far, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's king, she's queen. Like, she is the greatest entertainer of our generation that is living today. Of course, Michael Jackson was the greatest, okay? Okay, then you had Janet Jackson. Um, uh, but female-wise, she's it. And it's just like, whether you're a fan or not, you have to acknowledge that. Like, you don't have to be a fan of her music, but just, just know that she is putting hard work out here and she deserves all the accolades that she gets. But um, we give you three tracks and it's hard, it's hard for me. Like, when I tell you I love 
I can't, no, I don't love all 14, but I damn near love at least 11, okay? There's some songs that I could do without, but I still appreciate them because when I saw the visual, it's a visual album, so when you see the videos, it's like, damn, okay. I, I didn't think about it that way, but Blow, Blow, absolute favorite. I'm telling you, like, it makes you do a body roll, arch your back, do a little, I don't want to say twerk because in 2014, I do not want to bring that word, but for the sake of 2013, it makes you want to twerk something. Like, if you don't arch your back when you hear Blow, then you don't have rhythm. I don't know what's wrong with you. Get your life together. But, um, turn that cherry out, turn that cherry out. Like, oh God, it's, it's so raunchy, but it's so good. I love it. Um, what's another song? Oh, Rocket. It's so sexy, so sexy. The video, the video has nothing to do with the lyrics. So it's just like, every time you think you know what Beyonce is gonna do, I just knew from listening to, I listened to the songs first and then I said, okay, in my mind while I'm listening to it, I'm, I'm envisioning or what I think Beyonce is gonna do with the video. She went complete left with Rocket. Um, video was a little bit disappointing because I wanted the video to be sexier and it was not at all. Um, oh, I have to give you some uh, Everybody loves Drunken Love. Drunken Love is good. Mine is good with Drake. Um, I want to say EXO. Um, it, when I listen to Beyonce, she makes me want to be in love. Like, at the end of the day. Like, not because she's married to Jay-Z and they are, you know, uh, the it couple right now or for some years, but um, just the way that the conviction that she sings, it makes me uh, want to believe in love and want me to uh, strive for that uh, ecstasy feeling that you would have for your significant other. Um, but again, the grading system is skip, download, buy. Ha! <laughs> Dumb question. Do I want to buy it? Hell yes, you should too. Um, at first, it was just strictly on iTunes, and for the first three days, it went gold. By now, I'm sure it's platinum. Um, the physical copy just came out. So, it's a great stock and stuffer. Do yourself a favor, buy this album, uh, whether it be iTunes or uh, the physical copy. Now, the iTunes copy, I believe, is 15, and if you buy the physical copy, it's $16. Target, um, is pretty whack. They said that the album was too trashy, so they're not. They banned it. and They're not carrying it. Um, we're not. We're not losing any sleep on that. She was just at Walmart uh, a couple days ago, and it's doing perfectly fine. But Beyonce, fifth album, buy it. Buy it for your mother. Buy it for your little cousin. They have to be of age because, like I said, it's provocative lyrics. So make sure they can handle what they're listening to. But um, yeah. The album is everything. Yes, she gave me life. <laughs> this is your girl Chanel Loren, spread love.